In this video, I'm going to share resources and a roadmap to learn Python specifically for cloud or DevOps. So if you are pursuing to get a job as a cloud engineer in DevOps, I get this question a lot of times that how much Python or how much of a programming language do I need to know? And this video is going to cover exactly that question. To start off, I wanted to share this resource that I created and it's available on GitHub. So you can either read the Markdown version or you can go to the website called 7 daysofpythoncom And as the name suggests, it's seven days in which I'll cover some concepts that are important to learn Python specifically for cloud or DevOps. So if you go into days, you can see day one is introduction to Python. Here, you know, we'll set up our local environment by installing Python and also installing a code editor like Visual Studio Code. Or you can also use REPLit. And then I talk about basic data types. So you need to know uh, numbers, strings, lists, tuples, and dictionaries and then also the operations and expressions, along with variables. How do you assign variables in Python? And then at the last of day one, we go over how do we print something to the console? The most famous hello world example is right here. Moving on to day two, we have Python loops, functions, modules, and libraries. So I go over what is a for loop and while loop, right? And then I also talk about functions. How do you create functions in Python? Also, some of the important modules and libraries that are available for Python. On day three, we go over Python data structures and object-oriented programming. So think about you know, list, tuples, dictionaries, sets, and then also what is object-oriented programming. So class, inheritance, polymorphism. So that is all that we cover on day three. Day four is debugging, testing, and regular expressions. So pretty straightforward, you know, we go over some libraries that are available to help us debug and test our code. So for debugging, Python has an included debugger called PDB, and then you can use that by doing an import um, on the top. And then for testing, there is unit tests. So Python includes unit test, a module that provides a framework for writing and running test cases. And then we go over regular expressions. So regular expressions are a powerful tool for working with text data. They enable you to search and match specific character patterns within a string. So Python's RE or regular expression module includes functions for working with regular expressions. So I give you an example of that. And then we have daytime library, and I also give you some resources where you can go study these further. Day five is web development in Python. So we'll be going over how to create a basic web app using the web framework for Python called Flask. You might have also heard of Django. And then also how do you work with databases? So in a traditional app, you know that there is the front end side and then the back end would consist of a database where the data is stored. So how do you connect these, especially with the Flask app that we build? Day six is automation with Python. And this is where it gets aligned a lot with cloud and DevOps. So think about Pulumi, which is an IAC tool. Think about Pywin. RM, which allows you to automate Windows remote management, and also Fabric, which helps you streamline SSH commands and remote execution of scripts on your server, on your remote server. So Fabric, Pywin RM, and Pulumi. And then I have, again, included resources at the bottom. Day seven, we'll be building a real world app so that we have more hands-on experience. And in this one, I built a blog site Right, I'll be adding more projects to this repo here. But the first project right now we have is a blog site that we build using Flask and we use Markdown to write our blog posts. So that is what's on day seven. Now I'll give you some really good resources that I used to learn Python or start my journey in Python back in 2019 when I was trying to transition to a cloud engineer role. So the first resource you might already have heard about this is Harvard's CS50 Introduction to Programming with Python. So this is the Python version that they came out with recently. Back in 2019, I took the regular CS50. So this one is you know geared towards Python. So I would highly recommend this course and it's available for free. 
The next one is Microsoft Learn. So Microsoft Learn not only is for Azure or Microsoft-based technologies, it also has great modules for programming languages such as Python in our case. Go over this module, it's pretty solid because it has hands-on exercises that you do at the end of each module. So yeah, those are the resources that I think would help you start your Python journey. Uh, along with the seven days of Python repo that I mentioned. I hope this video helped you with the question that how much knowledge of a programming language you need to enter cloud or DevOps. Let me know in the comments if I should do a series for the seven days of Python where I go over each day and do a hands-on exercise for that day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.